Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm going to be talking about my college experience, my sorority experience, um, pretty much everything about college while I get ready. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started um, and talk to you about my college experience. I'm going to start out with my um, Mario Badus Badescu? Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm really sorry. It's my Mario, it's the Mario one that everybody uses, you know, that thing. Just spray it all over my face. Just like that. Um, <coughs> ew, it got in my mouth. I have a couple errands to run today, so I'm really gonna try and make myself look somewhat presentable. Um, so now I'm just going to go in with my primer. So this is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So I'm just going to put a couple of pumps of that on the back of my hand. And kind of dot it all over my face. My skin looks so awful right now. Um, it's because I've been stressed because of, guess what? College! Many of you may know that I went away to college. I did not have a roommate. Um, I had one uh, when I was scheduled to, like, when I signed up for my dorm, but then I messaged her, and she was like, I'm not coming anymore, um, good luck and everything, blah, 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 and then deleted all of her social media, like, the next day, so that was a little sketchy, but it's fine. Um, so I ended up not having a roommate for, like, a month into the semester, probably, like, a month, month and a half, um, and then I met my current well, like, my roommate that I had for the rest of the semester, Marissa. She will probably watch this, so hi, Marissa. She and I are both in the same sorority, and that is how we met. So, um, she was my roommate for the whole semester. We got along so well. She became one of my best friends. Um, and I met so many of the other girls in the sorority because of her. We're both very thankful that we found each other. I've never lived with another person before. I've never had to share a room. I've always had a room to myself. And that was like the hardest part of college. I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. Um, so dorm life. At first I wasn't going to live in the dorms. I am beyond thankful that I did. I literally would not change it for the world that was the best and worst time of my life honestly I kind of got lonely and at that point like I was already like a month into the semester and I was just like I don't want to be here I went through like this period of where I was like I don't want to be at college anymore like maybe college isn't for me and I was having a really rough time um being away because it was the first time that I had ever been away from home um, by myself. I didn't have a roommate, like I said. Everybody seemed to be transitioning just fine. Um, but I, I was not. I was handling it very, very badly. And my first semester, I'm not gonna lie to you, the first semester is the roughest semester. Um, you get the sense of being an adult for the first time. You get the sense of having freedom and doing whatever the heck you want, going to bed whenever you want, having, being home at whatever time you want to be home. You're an adult, like you're 18. I mean, there might be some of you who are 17 and going to college. Um, but you are, you are an adult and you are doing yourself. Like you are, it's your own life. I'm going to be completely honest with you this whole video. Um, my first semester was so rough. It was so hard. Um, I failed. Um, I failed my first semester. I'm so far behind academically versus all of my friends. Um, and it sucks. It really does. Like, I worked so hard to be at Michigan State, and I screwed myself over, basically. If I could go back and I could start over this whole year, like, academically, I would. You have to be motivated to go to class. If you're not motivated to go to class, you are not going to do well. You have to have yourself present, your butt in that seat, and I know that it's hard. I know that you don't want to go to class. But again, like I said, that's something that I wish I could go back and change is that I was motivated to go to class. My one class ran from 8 o'clock at night to 10 o'clock at night. And that was the worst thing that I had ever done to myself. I wish I would have gone back and changed all my classes because if I could have made my schedule how I wanted to and how I knew that I was like going to be motivated to do it, then I... I would have made it how I wanted it. Just schedule classes like that you know that you are going to be motivated to go to. The one thing that really motivates you to go to class is attendance policies. For me, um, classes that don't have attendance policies 
um, are my worst nightmare, honestly. Three of my classes this semester had attendance policies. My butt was in that seat every single day. And I did well in the course. Um, unlike last semester where I did, I only had one class that had an attendance policy. Um, and none of my other ones did. When you're scheduling your classes, schedule classes that you know you are going to be motivated to go to. So don't schedule an 8 a.m. four days a week like I did for next spring. If you know you're not going to be motivated to get up at 8 a.m. every single day, don't schedule the 8 a.m. every single day. Like if you know you're not going to go to the class, then don't schedule it at that time. For me, I worked all school year. Um, it's hard, honestly. Um, my first semester, I think that's also why I did so poorly, was because I was trying to get, like, I was trying to adjust to school. Um, I was taking 15 credits, 16 credits, and I was also working 20 hours a week. Now, on MSU's campus, I know that there is a lot of opportunities to get on-campus jobs, which I would totally suggest because they work around your schedule. You can't sit here and sugarcoat working is like working and taking um, 15 credits as an adjusting freshman is like the easiest thing ever. Like it's not, it's not the same as high school. It's not the same as working in high school. It really isn't. Honestly, I really wish I didn't have to, like I wish I hadn't had to work while I was like transitioning just because it was very hard. Like I remember it got to a point where I was honestly like dreading going to work and I've never felt that feeling. It was awful. It really was because there were so many things that my friends were doing like going to football games and having fun. In my sorority like they were doing tailgates and everything and um I couldn't go to any of those because I was at work and so it was just kind of like one of those things where I was like I'm missing out on all the fun things that I could do my freshman year because I am working. If you don't have to work the first year you're in college, then don't do it. I am bronzing my face. I used this and I'm using this. Many of you may know, many of you may not know I joined a sorority. I've been talking about it in this video so um, you should know that. I joined a sorority so if you want like a whole video on sorority recruitment and everything like that, um, I will do it. I've been wanting to do one. But, like I said, I just haven't had the time to. Um, basically, I did formal recruitment in the fall. Formal recruitment is where you go through several days, and um, throughout those days, your parties with houses get smaller and everything like that, and you find your home with Greek life. So you had two days of spirit, one day of values, one day of philanthropy, and then bid day. If I am correct, then that's correct. So I did that, and I found my home. Um, it was the best experience that... I could honestly ever, like, it's the best thing that I could ever honestly have chosen to do. Now I'm using this. I rushed, um, or I did recruitment in the fall, um, found my home, and that is how I met some of my best friends that I have now, all of my sisters. Um, yeah, so if you want to know what sorority um, I joined, you can go check out my Instagram. If you want to go check out my Instagram and everything like that, um, you can see that. Um, and my Twitter and all that too. So, self-promo. I just put on some highlight. Um, take it easy on yourself your first semester. Like, don't give yourself, like, 18 credits. Like, don't do it. Um, take classes that you know that you're going to be able to, like, get through. Um, your first semester is probably going to be your roughest. Um, maybe it isn't for everyone, but for me it was, just because I, I felt homesick. I felt more homesick after I went home for the first time. I went home very sporadically throughout the whole school year. I didn't, I was telling my mom that I think I did a very good job of coming home. I went home at the end of September, and then I went home at the beginning of November, um, and the end of November, and then I went home for winter break. I think I went home on, like, the 14th or the 15th, and I came back to school, um, like, the second weekend in January. The second semester, I went home for spring break, and I went home for Easter. 
and then I didn't go home again until obviously now. Choose when you go home wisely, don't go home too much, don't not go home. And you know, it may be harder on you if you live out of state so you can't go home every so often so you're only home for like holidays and stuff like that. Like if you're able to go home, like if you only live like an hour and a half away like I do, then go home once or twice in the semester. Like don't go home every single weekend like some people do. I remember the first full weekend was Labor Day weekend so everyone went back home everyone and I was like why like you were just at home do you really miss it like that much I don't really have any more college advice you know just find something that makes you happy because college is all about finding yourself and finding you know what you really want to do with the rest of your life and if you are not happy with your major change your major there's nothing wrong with that I went from pre-med to pre-veterinary it was because I knew that I wanted to work with animals but I was like so naive about being like oh my god like I can't be a vet like I love animals too much to be a vet but honestly like I I'm so happy that I changed my major um everybody tells me like you're gonna be the perfect vet like you're the perfect person to be the vet to be a vet and that is my favorite thing that anybody could ever say to me when somebody says like you would be the perfect person for this and that makes you feel happy then you know that you have chosen your right profession you have chosen your right path and I have never been happier with changing my major if you have any other questions about college leave them down below if you want another video about college I'll be more than happy to do it if you want a whole video on like sorority recruitment and like what to wear how it goes how you know you're choosing your right house whatever give this video a thumbs up and I will do it um, otherwise, thank you for sitting here with me while I did my makeup and I went from disgusting to a little less disgusting. I went from like a 3 to like a 7, not even like a 6. I will talk to you all in my next video. If not, I don't know when I'll be back. Thank you for watching. Like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys! It was like the best time of my life for being honest. I loved my... I, I loved it. I loved college.